In this presentation, I'll be discussing autosomal dominant nocturnal frontal lobe epilepsy, also known as ADN-FLE. The question I investigated was, what ion channel is linked to ADN-FLE and what mutations on the ion channel are associated with ADN-FLE? What is the evidence? So what is autosomal dominant nocturnal frontal lobe epilepsy? It is a partial epilepsy arising in the childhood or early adolescence. Attacks arise in the frontal lobe usually during second stage of sleep, NREM, and characterized by clusters of complex and stereotype hyperkinetic seizures, accompanied by sudden arousals. ADN-FLE is a rare familial seizure disorder. How is ADN-FLE caused? Because it is a genetically heterogeneous disorder, for some families it is linked to chromosome 20 or chromosome 15 and for other, neither of these. In autosomal dominant nocturnal frontal lobe epilepsy, there is a missense mutation present in the alpha-4 subunits of neuronal nicotinic acetylcholine. The NACHR ion channel is a ligand-gated ion channel which conducts potassium, sodium and calcium. The NACHR ion channel also has important neuromodulatory functions including modulation of GABA and glutamate release, the main inhibitory and excitatory neurotransmitters of the brain. There are 15 mutations identified on the CHRNA4 gene, which encodes the neuronal NACHR alpha-2 subunit. There are four transmembrane units present on the NACHR ion channel, and most of the mutations are found on the second transmembrane region. There are mutations on other genes that can cause ADN-FLE, first being KCN-T1, which codes for the sodium-dependent potassium channel and protein coding gene, the second being DEPD5, and the third CHR, corticotropin-releasing hormone, which is caused by a missense mutation located in the region of the CHR coding for the protein sequence. The table on the left shows the mutations that can be present on the alpha-4 or beta-2 subunits, as well as the KCN-T1. I mentioned previously that the nicotinic acetylcholine receptor has four different transmembrane regions, and the picture on the right is a blown-up image of the second transmembrane showing the locations of each of the mutations on the alpha-4 and beta-2 subunits. There have been many studies on autosomal dominant nocturnal frontal lobe epilepsy to investigate the exact pathophysiology of this disease. Functional studies have produced controversial results which still makes it unclear. Expression of A4 mutants in heterologous systems resulted in various effects consistent with either a gain or loss of function. Increased sensitivity to acetylcholine, which is a gain of function, and decreased calcium potentiation or accelerated desensitization, which is a loss of function. Mutations of beta-2 showed a gain of function by increased sensitivity to acetylcholine or slower desensitization, and alpha-4 mutation showed a gain of function by the increase of sensitivity to acetylcholine. Electrophysiological experiments show that even though each mutant exhibits specific properties, they all confer a gain of function with increased sensitivity to acetylcholine. In this work, there is characterization of the second and third ADN FLE associated mutations that are external to the TM2 but affect different amino acid residues within the third transmembrane region, the TM3. The two CHRNMB2 mutations were identified in three families of Scottish, Turkish and English origin. These TM3 mutations elicit the same gain of function pattern mechanism as observed for the TM2 mutations with enhanced acetylcholine sensitivity, despite their unusual localization within the gene. Electrophysiological experiments include single channel measurements revealed that incorporation of these new mutant subunits does not affect the conduct of ionic pore but increases the probability of opening. 
Determination of the sensitivity to nicotine for NACHRs carrying mutations in TM2 and TM3 showed clear differences in the direction and the extent to which the window current for nicotine sensitivity was shifted for individual mutations, indicating differences in pharmacogenomic properties that are not readily correlated with increased ACH affinity. This was conducted on genetic animal models. The alpha-4 mutations of s 25 to F and L264 engineered in knock-in mice induce spontaneous seizures of various types, in some cases similar to human phenotype, but no paramoxal arousal and dystonia-like manifestations. In comparison to the alpha-4 subunit, S248F in knock-in mice showed no spontaneous seizures but nicotine-induced dystonic attacks. Alpha-4 subunit S284L Transgenic rats showed a more complete ADN FLE phenotype with spontaneous attacks during slow wave sleep, comprising of paramoxal arousals, frightened behavior, dystonic activity, and epileptic wandering. Pathogenic mechanisms are also different in these models. Upon application of nicotine, GABA inhibition is increased in the frontal cortex of s 25 f and L264 knock-in mice whereas it is reduced in somatosensory cortex of S284L transgenic rats. Functional studies of neuronal nicotinic ACH receptors reconstituted in oocytes were designed to analyze the common traits displayed by the different mutations associated with ADN FLE. This resulted in the co-expression of the result and mutated alleles harboring the alpha 4 s 24 f mutation obtained from patients' DNA yielded ACH-evoked currents of amplitude comparable to the control responses but with a higher sensitivity and desensitization to the natural agonist. Alternatively, the other mutants displayed an increased ACH sensitivity without pronounced desensitization. In addition, where a reduction of calcium permeability was observed for the mutants, no significant Modification of the ions, ionic selectivity could be detected in the alpha 4 s 25 l mutation. Hence, the increase in acetylcholesensitivity is only common characteristics so far in the occurring mutant receptors investigated. The conclusions that we can draw from this is that the prefrontal regions of the brain are sensitive to nicotinic stimulation. Autosomal dominant nocturnal frontal lobe epilepsy mutations all confer gain in function, which is an increased sensitivity to acetylcholine. Analysis of functional properties of NACHR mutants associated with this disease indicate that the gain of function of these mutant receptors may be at the origin of neuronal network dysfunction that causes these epileptic seizures. There are treatments available, which are drugs. Um, that cause inhibitory inf effects. Um, there, of course, there is uncertainties in the pathogenesis of uh, autosomal dominant nocturnal frontal lobe epilepsy. There are many gaps in the information and regulation of neuronal networks in the cerebral cortex, and is a still a big area of study. These are my references, and thank you for watching my presentation.